Gödel's incompleteness theorem was a stunning result uh, in the 1930s. Uh, it's a result that shows that mathematics, in some sense, is incomplete. It can't do uh, some of the things that people had hoped that mathematics could do. For instance, uh, there will be sentences of mathematics that are tr recognisably true, true and recognisably true, that uh, cannot be proven from within uh, standard mathematical systems. And moreover, that mathematics can't prove its own consistency, that is, it can't guarantee that there will be no contradictions in mathematics. Uh, this had been a great hope that from early in the 20th century when there had been found, they had found some contradictions in mathematics, that it would be nice to guarantee that this wouldn't happen, happen again. And what Gödel showed in a way was that there can be no such guarantees. Mathematics at least cannot prove from within itself that it's consistent. Well, it's very important for a number of reasons. Obviously, from within mathematics and logic, it really, it's not an overstatement to say it reshaped the way we think about uh, foundational questions in mathematics and in logic. Uh, this had been not taken for granted that this could be done. It was considered non-trivial that so you could prove consistency, but there was this general hope that you could do this, to show that that was actually impossible. It was an amazing result and quite quite unexpected that it would turn out just that way. Many people think that it has far-reaching consequences way beyond mathematics. So for, for computing, for instance, the kinds of things computers will do. Computers are uh, machines that are set up to follow certain sets of rules, just as in mathematics. So what Gödel showed was that in mathematical systems, there are things that you can and you can't do, so too with computing. So it was very early days, 1930s. This is uh, beginning of the computer era, if you like, and uh, it was set limits on what, what you can think about what machines can and can't do. So one of the important uh, applications of this result, uh, people have made claims, for instance, that there is a fundamental difference between what a human mind can do and what a machine can do. The machines are governed by these kinds of rules, and for instance, they can't prove their own consistency. They can't, uh, they can't flash out every true sentence. There'll be some that will escape their detection, as it were. And so the story goes, at least, human minds don't have those kinds of limitations. So there's this fundamental difference between what a human mind can do and what a computer can do. I don't think that's right. I'll, and I'll say more about that in the lecture. But that's one of the reasons that there been so much attract, uh, attention to Gödel's incompleteness results from outside of mathematics, as I said. From a mathematics and logic point of view, absolutely landmark results. Some, some of the most important things done in the 20th century.